I say by a miracle, the national currency, the Naira, rebounded by some 20.8% approximately to 720 Naira to a dollar. You know, the announcement of the redesign by the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, had piled a near choking pressure on the Naira at the black market. Uh, it had dipped to an all-time low of 910 Naira to a dollar. Uh, Clamp down on foreign exchange dealers in Abuja, Lagos, and some other big cities in the week by officials of the EFCC did not help matters. Traders bore the brunt of the whole fiasco. Now, the Naira Tony must have more than nine lives. Hmm. Just, um, you, you're still wondering. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm just, uh, because it's, it's not new, though, and uh, we know what we get this. Mm. We know what triggered this. And I salute, I don't know, for me personally, I think I salute whoever initiated this move, you, you know, redesigning of the Naira. Yeah. Because uh, how can out of three point something trillion Naira in circulation, in circulation be within the public? Yeah. yeah. Out of three million, after, out of... 3.2 million yeah, two, trillion naira, mm. 2.773 are unbanked. Are unbanked. In other words, they are not in the banks, they are with individuals. Hmm. So CBN studied this and, and decided to do this. And then it, it, within the first week, when the immediately it was announced, there was this surge in banks. So, Tony, some people are downright satanic. So, they are, no, no, they are, they, are, um, they are regretting, especially the speculators. So, when it happened, people took their money, of course. We know, when it ha I had a lot of people say, uh, but you know, you know, you know Nigerians, they yeah. there's always a loophole. Yeah. And I know, definitely, when they bring out this money, they will definitely want to change it to Forex, so as to make it easy for them. Because when you do that, you can keep it for as long as you want. And, and so, waiting for the right yeah, time. And they're waiting for the right, of course, that, that's the speculation. Mm -hmm. And they're waiting for the right time to come out again and do. So I, I like, because I, yesterday actually we went out for, you know, to sample some, because we have some of this thing to, to exchange. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of their bookies were saying that, uh, what, yeah, yes, it was down. So because of that, we couldn't actually do, do the transaction. So I was asking, like, what actually cost it? I was saying that CBN injected, you know, um, foreign exchange into the market, <laughs> and that brought, you know, that uh, resulted in that crash. That's so it. now speculators who have kept, and I read a lot, today, and I, uh, some, some of them were, they've actually bought this and kept it, hoping that it will, you know, go. appreciate. So we, that's part of what you're saying here. <laughs> so we are part of the problem, in the, you know, Nigerians, at times, we blame government too, but in our own individual, you know, um, roles, we contribute to these things. Yeah. You know, we decide what happens to the economy, we decide what happens to our forex. When the CBN governor last year, I think it, the issue of uh, banning a um, bookie effects and all that, it didn't change anything. Mm. So when you ban a book, so what happened to individual bookies in, in our, you know, within us, bookkeeping this thing and speculating because the more you do this, the more it affects the economy. Yeah. And they, at the end of the day, it's the common man that suffers it. Because when you go to the marketplace to buy something, you come back crying. Because the, the Naira will no longer have value. Mm. So it, it has come, I mean, um, this is Nigeria. And, and I, I, please, I stand to be corrected. I, I don't know why we have two, I mean, have, we have, we have black market and official rates. Please, yeah. I want, to, I, want yeah. to, I don't know. Is this how it is across the world? If you ask me now, who I go ask? But GD, you know, you remember 1984 when this same thing happened and 53 suitcases came. And the rest, as they say, is history. Hmm. So we are back there. Well, we've not been able to lay our hands on uh, some suit suitcases this time. Are we, are, have we punished bad behavior in this country mm -hmm. before? Well, we punish, but uh, <laughs> we, we usually don't punish the rich. Oh, okay. It's not as if we don't punish bad behavior. You look at TFCC, mm. and overwhelming majority of their convictions are. Um, Those guys are down, down with, there. Uh, 
the Yahoo boys and the rest of them. So, but it, the politically it, exposed <laughs> persons, it is them. extremely difficult to... No, no, to, is it to, difficult? Are they bigger than... It is difficult to... Nail them. To convict them. They get the best lawyers. They can bribe judges, you know, uh, who frustrate uh, trial. their trial. You know, there was a time that the FCC was identify some judges that it was taking cases before. Okay. Yeah. It was because it wasn't sure that it would get justice in the hands of some judges. Is that bad? How mm. can you have an agency mm. that would always take its cases before some particular judges? You know, it says a lot about the uh, lack of confidence mm. in the judiciary. Yes, we publish, we publish bad behavior, but uh, it's like there is a different rule for the poor and um, I, I, another I, I, one for do the you rich. Know, it, well, I'm, ten, I'm ten, tempted to think along with you, but then the question comes, is it difficult to punish these really big people? It's difficult. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if you I want agree. me to tell you the truth, I, I, even though Obasanjo just case. said is that <laughs> it's difficult to fight corruption <laughs> because you discover that you keep stepping on the toes of your own friends. Okay. And people find it difficult to do that. Uh, talking about uh, the currency thing, since, uh, since that's uh, yeah. the issue that brought us here, people are refusing to step forward to buy. I've heard that, oh, it's because the FCC raided. Uh, <laughs> no, it's not, it's not simply because the FCC raided. This is not the first time the FCC will raid yeah. the show job. Uh, yeah. Um, hopes, but people don't want to step forward and buy for fear, the, for fear that it will further crash. Yeah, you know true. this whole thing. Okay, this whole little, thing. Yeah. The value of our currency is not is not based on any sure. empirical parameters. No, no, no real metrics. It's not, it's not a function Re of uh, production. Yeah. Uh, it's, just, it's just based largely on speculation. Mm -hmm. Because they're suspicious. That's As is a rentier economy, it's just based largely on speculation. Oh, what will happen? Just mm. for me, this is we're approaching December. So those guys are calculating. We are approaching December. In December, people will come home from Europe and America and other places. They will bring more dollars. Usually at that time, demand, demand goes down. Down, yeah. Because there is plenty, it. Uh, yeah. uh, plenty is. supply. As is all people coming in, mm -hmm. bringing mm -hmm. foreign currency. So now, this one happening now, is that has alerted them to the possibility of the thing for that going down, knowing that we're approaching December when there will be greater supply. So what they are doing now, instead of going to buy, you know, because a lot of them who want who need it, they, are also, they also want to keep it. Yeah. Because it's a better store of value than our currency and it's, it's much more consistent. Mm -hmm. So instead of going to buy it and then keep it for future use, <laughs> they would rather wait because they are scared that as it is going, it will further go down. And if it goes down, they've lost money. That's so they don't want to take that risk. Then for some of them who also want to pay school fees and other things with it, mm. they are encouraged by the fact that this thing is going down. And they, they are inclined to wait a little bit. To, to see, see if, if it will if further go down. Yeah, okay. So that okay. at that time they can then move in. Go and get do, it for what? It. Mm. So is um, people are reluctant. They are reluctant so to go by. So the demand once is is a function of demand and supply. Once the demand is not impressive, yeah, you don't expect it to be going obviously. Well. obviously. If we are to have election tomorrow now, or maybe a presidential primary or when. Mm. Uh, then, it will shoot up. Of course, because there will be greater demand for yeah. it. Uh -huh. So we are, the, we are the architects of our own misfortune. For those agonizing on social media and other places that we are talking about, Naira, um, not uh, 
being strong enough and all that. It is because we want our government to take the right steps. We are not born psycho fans. Mm. We want our government to take the right steps. How come in South Africa you don't see people hawking dollars on the streets? Yeah. How come in Mozambique you don't see people hawking dollars on the streets? So uh, if we must ban the black market and know that, okay, we are going to be using the official window, let's, let's, let's have it. Why right. should we have a, uh, why should we even have a dual exchange uh, rate? Uh, there was a uh, time that it was even more than uh, two. Yeah. Whereby yeah. for those going on pilgrimage, there's a separate uh, exchange rate. Those going on, no, I mean, we, we can't so continue we, like we that. Have, we have an Ade <coughs> joining us. Uh, excuse me. Ade, good evening. Excuse How me, are I you? I greet all my brothers here, including the prince. Uh, the dollar will still go up. You know why? Hmm. The January deadline is too short. The CBNs will extend it to six months or nine months to change the old note to the new note. Mm. I used to live in Canada those days. There's a market they call Singer and Canteen Corey. Mm. Those people alone, the kind they have, is enough to set up three banks. So the CBN should please extend it to six to nine months so that people can have time to exchange the old mm. notes to the new notes. Otherwise, yeah. the dollar will still go up. Because All right. the uh, is too uh, short. I, I, I hope you are not planning uh, 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 on on re returning some pounds here. No, you see, it, it's <laughs> right. I don't think the the period that we've given for this whole exchange to take yeah. place, banks are still going to use the same tellers that they are not using at this time. So it's going to put so much pressure on the banks. Yeah, it's going to put so yeah. much pressure. A lot of people have kept uh, money at home. Actually, in the, as we in speak. The, yes, in the north, in the north, some people don't think that they should take money to the bank. It's a cultural thing for some of those big traders in those places. Canteen Kori, biggest uh, textile market in West Africa. A lot of them don't use the banks. Hmm. So now, if they must exchange this, that means they have to go to the bank. They, so they have no choice. Some banks, like he was saying, he said, the money that is lodged in some of those markets mm. that is bigger than three, three, <laughs> three banks. So how do we do this within so short a time? When we told our government that the time provided for this NIN registration to take place was too short, they were arguing with us. And some of the agents said, mm, everything, you always argue about everything. But do you know how many times they extended it? They had to extend it several times. Okay. So even this one, I hope that um they will the window on although i know that they are also careful because this is close to the election time yeah ha. so but i don't think that time is is um, is enough and if people find themselves um but, unable to but, quickly but, but in, get this money changed in the banks but you know nigerians they will go are, to the uh, nigerians have buy this, dollars nigerians have this crazy character of not doing things in time until but if this one, this one concerns everybody. Mm. If you have a little money, you have, you have to change it now. Because after the deadline, it's useless. 